All right, this year we are doing a ton of Institute for Excellence in Writing for my fourth grader, my eighth grader, and my high school. And I'm gonna share it all with you guys and how I am going to attempt to do a one-room schoolhouse type deal with all of my kids on various subjects. Yes, high schooler too. You guys, I don't wanna just send him off on his own to do these things. I am going to try to incorporate him on some things. So today I'm going to show you all the things that we're going to use for IEW this year. And I will explain a little bit about why I chose each one. And stay tuned because I have information about an IEW giveaway. So if you've been around on my channel for any length of time, you might know that me, Rachel Smith, I have, this is in my first rodeo with IEW. I have used IEW products since 2016, after just one year of homeschooling is when I discovered them. And some of these products I've used before in the past, and then I set them aside for a time, and I've decided to pick them back up again. So, first things first. I got all my kids this year a Fix-It Grammar. Now, I have explained Fix-It Grammar on my eighth grade video before. This is a new and updated one than the one that I've used in the past because th this Fix-It Grammar, you don't do in a separate notebook. They actually have a place now for you to edit this, but all of my kids, they need editing practice. They need specific grammar practice, and so I decided that we were all gonna do this this year. I got my son for high school. I got him the Robin Hood one. I got my fourth grader the town mouse and the country mouse. And I got my eighth grader the frog prince. So I'm not exactly sure if I'm gonna have my high schooler just do this on his own or if maybe I'll fit, I'll fit it in after morning time so that they can all work on their fix-it grammar together and then I can be there to check it right away. I'm not quite sure. I'm still thinking about all of this. I'm, I have to say though, I am like so excited because I am so familiar with IEW products and I'm excited to be using so many of them this year. So stay tuned to see how I'm using this. And by the way, if you have any questions at all or, or you want more specifics about any of these products, just leave a comment below and I will either respond to it or if I get enough questions about all this stuff, maybe I'll do a follow-up video about it and show you a little bit more closely. I will definitely, probably, once I get my school plan together, let you know more specifically how I'm gonna use these. So there will be more coming on this. All right, another thing that I have used in the past that I've decided to give it a try again, and that is the Phonetic Zoo, Phonetic Zoo spelling program. So this is the one that I have, it's pretty old. I used it with my middle child. I think she was in third grade. This is how the, the new one wor works because I went ahead and got the level B in case I decide to use that again with her and then I might use the level A with my little one. Again, I have not decided exactly how I'm gonna do this. But the, the reason that Phonetic Zoo is so nice is this is not teacher intensive at all. You pop these CDs in, the children listen to, I, I don't think it's Andrew Pudua that speaks the spelling list, but the voice tells them the spelling list, they write it down in the notebook. I think every four or five words, it gives the spelling rule that they're working on. So for example, this is the level A spelling cards. So at, um, level A is the easiest list, level B are harder words, and level C are even harder words. But the rules are the same for everyone. So these cards are good for every single level. So this is the level A list right here. And you can see every single word has an A, I. And this is the rule that it goes over because the spelling in the brain, how it works is sometimes memorizing these cute little poems, just like we've memorized, right? Even though there's exceptions to this rule, but we memorized as kids. I before E except after C. So those little rules help you if you're stuck, that rule might apply to the word that you are trying to spell. So that's kind of how this works. And in order for them to pass and go on to the next list, they have to get the entire list correct two times. And then every four lessons, I think, they do spiral back and they do a review of all those lists. And if they miss words again, you can always go back to the list. You know, it's on CD, so you can go back. You can go as slow as you want or as fast as you want. It also comes with these spelling rule cards here. So again, let's see. This is the 
AI and the AY, and on the back is the rule. When AI says A, as in claim and chain, it comes in the middle, as in train and pain. But when AI says A, as in J and portray, it comes at the end. See decay and delay. Don't let suffixes betray you, as in decayed. The root never changes. See playful and played. So literally, they repeat that little rhyme multiple times for every single spelling test. And then the other thing that Phonetic Zoo can come with is this little parent-teacher book. If there's other ways you want to practice the book or practice the list, some creative ideas here, discussion points. I never used this, but who knows? I might use it this time. It comes with the bundle if you get the bundle, though. So I was just kind of thinking, since I'm doing the IEW Fix-It Grammar, and I'm gonna use one of their writing products and all these other things, what about spelling? My middle child struggles with spelling. My youngest, she's only nine, she still needs to keep up on spelling, and I just thought, I've chosen so many things this year that might be considered, again, teacher intensive. I wanted something that wasn't teacher intensive that they could do independently on their own. So we're going to try Phonetic Zoo again. The other thing that I decided this year was my two daughters, the fourth grader and the eighth grader, this is the one-room schoolhouse thing, I'm going to teach them together. So I, when we were part of classical conversations, I was an essentials tutor. Essentials meaning I taught the grammar, I taught sentence diagramming, we did math games, and we did IEW. So I'm very, very, very familiar with IEW, and I've taught it before. I'm going to do it kind of similarly to how classical conversations does it, in that I'm going to formally teach them one day a week, and then they're going to have the entire week to do their paper and do all of their other exercises. And then when we come back the next week, they can read their papers, so on and so forth. So what I chose for both my fourth grader and my eighth grader is all things fun and fascinating. Now, when I ordered this, I didn't, I don't remember if I noticed that it was technically the third through fifth grade level, but I don't care. That doesn't concern me because I want my eighth grader to have a solid foundation in writing. And so it's, there's nothing wrong with using something like writing materials or instruction that is a little bit of a lower level because I might tell her, I want you to write an extra paragraph than your sister. The other thing is, is I'm gonna be helping my fourth grader quite a bit with her writing papers and I might not help my eighth grader as much. So the easier, the writing lessons, then the easier for my eighth grader to be independent with that. So this is the themed writing because I, the other thing I, I mentioned last year when I chose Brave Writer, when my eighth grader did the free lessons for IEW, I know everybody's raving and raving about the video instruction to the student, but some students don't want that. Some students don't want to sit in front of a video, and my eighth grader is no exception there. She did not want to just sit in front of a computer and watch videos. She does much better with personal interaction and me facilitating, and so mama's going to do it. You, you guys keep asking me questions. Tell me more about your ADHD child, how you're doing to motivate her, your reluctant learner. Well, here's one of the things is you might have to Oh my gosh, is that a siren? You guys, I have severe thunderstorms today. I just heard a siren. I don't think that's a tornado, but... If it starts stormy, I might have to get this video started and run to the basement. In fact, I'm going to check. Back to IEW. I have done a couple videos explaining IEW, explaining how it works, and explaining the differences between, for example, the themed writing and the student style and structure and etc so i will link all my iw videos below also but let's get back to where we were okay so i was talking about my adhd daughter and how she really does a lot better with very individualized attention from her mama really i mean what teenager doesn't just want to spend every waking moment with her mother she just doesn't want to admit it but 
but I think that's really, really what it is. She doesn't want to work independently. She wants me to do everything with her. Because she loves me so much. Okay, for real though. So I'm gonna be teaching my children together and I chose this one that is third through fifth grade. I think she will do very well with it. And the reason why I chose all things fun and fascinating is because I thought there was a lot of variety in terms of the text in here. So some of their themed writing is like they have a Narnia themed writing, they have a medieval history themed writing. And you know, sometimes when you get stuck on a theme and you're doing it the whole year, the kids might get bored with that. This one has a lot of variety in it. It has fun facts from science. It has writings from Aesop's fables, stories from around the world. Oh, interesting. I just, <laughs> just now seeing this. It has a special holiday lesson of poetry. That's cool. Why did I not see that before? That's fun. Okay. And it also has amazing animals, like five lessons on amazing animals birds, honeybees, ants. It has cartoon capers, the kite ride. I think that's like the writing from pictures unit. It has men who changed the world, such as Benjamin Franklin, Louis Braille, Thomas Edison, my favorite things, a favorite person, a special day, a favorite activity, and then the final review here. So from past themes that I am familiar with, there are nine units. This one, because it's a lower level, only teaches the first seven. So we're not gonna get to like literary analysis, which is fine. There's no way I was gonna do literary, literary analysis with my fourth grader anyway. My eighth grader might be able to do some literary analysis, but I have something else coming up for that. So all things fun and fascinating. If you're not sure where to start and you don't want to do the videos, maybe start with this one. I also bought kind of a supplement for my daughters. Now, I've talked about this in my other videos, but every time you buy something from IEW for the writing program, you're gonna have access to download something called a student resource packet, which kind of gives them lists of adverbs, lists of um, different ways to say good, bad, because there's banned words if you're not familiar with IEW. They don't want you to use words like good or bad or said. They don't want you to say, he said. They would rather you choose a more descriptive word for said, like he shouted, or he screamed, or he whispered, something like that, that, that gives more description about how somebody's saying it. So you will have access to that for free, but I went ahead and also got a Word Right Now supplement. I've never used this before, but this is a thematic thesaurus for stylized writing, and I thought all my kids could use this. For example, right here, okay? Words for anger, and then there's all kinds of words, and if you ever come up with one on your own that's not in this list, there's places here where you can add to it and make this book your own. But I thought this might be fun. Here's one for courage. So it's giving you the definition of courage, thoughts for how to use it, excerpts from classical literature. So I'm sure there's different ways that you could really use this. Look, there's even a quote here because sometimes in an, if you're doing a paper where maybe your theme has to do with courage and they say a great way to introduce a work a paper might be with a quote. Well, there's one down here you could use. It's not just other words for courage. It's adjectives here to describe courage. It's adverbs and it's verbs that you might use if your your character is acting courageously and you need a good verb. Lawlessness, laziness, obedience, pride, responsibility. So I haven't really given this a whole lot of thought, but man, you could use this for individual lessons. I'm not sure how I'm going to use this, but I will let you know when I figure it out. You might be wondering, but Rachel, I thought you said you were going to somehow involve your high schooler. How are you going to involve your high schooler? I'm not going to teach my high schooler the same thing because he has literally done four years of IEW. He did three through classical conversation and he did IEW last year for high school. He did not finish all of the units for his IEW teaching the students the style and structure. So he's going to finish the last three units this year. And then I haven't quite decided how I'm going to do this, but all three of my children and me are going to go through this together teaching 
the classics because this is teaching you how to analyze using the Socratic method, which the Socratic method is based off of Socrates and it's all about asking questions. And actually it's a really good, powerful tool even when you're trying to debate somebody to just get them think about what it is they're saying. Just learn to ask questions and get people to explain themselves by you asking the questions. So I wanted this for myself to kind of help me ask good questions to my kids with anything that we're reading. So this is going to kind of teach all of us. It comes with the DVDs so we can watch these together and go through these together. I have no idea how long this is going to take. I have no idea if this is a year long course. I mean, this book isn't super thick. I have no idea how quickly we can go through it, but I noticed with my high schooler when we were doing literature guides last year that he is struggling with thinking deeply about what it is he's reading. And from talking to one of my nieces who has gone to college, I asked her, I said, how important is it even for like the gen ed stuff in college? How important is literary, literary analysis really? And she said, actually, she ran across it a lot in college. My son's not going to be an English major. He's not going to be a writer. He's not going to do anything where in real life he really needs to know the classics and know how to analyze them. Thinking through things logically, thinking deeper about things, I mean, that is a life skill I would like him to have. But I want to prepare him for college as much as I can. So if we need to work on literary analysis, then I'm going to work on literary analysis. And I think both of my daughters naturally are more deeper thinkers. So I think it will be good for all of us to do this together. The texts that are used for this are short little children's stories. So I don't think it'll be too overwhelming. It's not like he's going to be reading Uncle Tom's Cabin like last year and then we're going to analyze it. It's Paul Revere's Ride. You know, that's the the uh, Henry Wadsworth Longfellow poem. So for Paul Revere's Ride, we talk about onomatopoeia. We talk about assonance. Does the author use words in sequence or in close proximity which have the same internal vowel sounds? So we'll be talking about that in alliteration imagery, personification, simile, metaphor, illusion. I mean, this is this is kind of really digging deep here into this poem. So there's going to be a lot to talk about. I don't know how many lessons this really is, like I said. I'm not really going to worry about it. We're going to go through it as quickly or as slowly as we need to to really just eat this all up and, and chew it up and do whatever we need to do with it. But it has these charts for setting so we can think about settings. Um, so for Ricky Tiki Tavi, they're going to be talking about setting and characters and the conflict. I mean, these are all, I remember learning this even in grade school. So let me give you just some examples of some other really analyzing the character's behavior and appearance, what he says, what he thinks about himself. So this is going to be good for my son and I think it'll be fun for all of us to be able to do it together. My son, he doesn't have a problem working independently as most high schoolers are able to do, but he enjoys his family. That's one of the benefits of homeschooling, right? He enjoys spending time with us. We've got the adventures of Tom Sawyer snippet in here, all kinds of little snippets from characters in adult literature, like even Macbeth and Great Expectations. So I haven't gone through it in detail. I haven't made my plan for the year. This is just what I've ordered. So even I'm anxious to see how all this is going to work out. One more thing that I want to talk about. I was so interested in this for my daughter and my son. I think we're going to do it next year, and that is public speaking. I love public speaking, you guys. I don't know why. It's like, because it terrifies me on the one hand, like when I start to speak in front of people, I'm just like everybody else. I get really super nervous, but I also like it. I'm such a conflicted person. And it's super important to be able to express your ideas, to be able to persuade and influence people in an effective manner, to be able to know how to manage that 
fear that most people have, and that's getting in front of people and um, having the spotlight shine on you. So this is a new course that they have. I believe it's, you could get it done in a semester. I think it comes with video instruction. It comes with a binder, just like how their student style and structure works. So they, they give you the materials to put it together for your student, and then they have streaming options for you Okay, so yes, it's a 12 week course, or you could take it slower if you need to. So like this would be one that maybe if you were part of a co-op, an, an academic co-op, this might be a really good curriculum to use to run a co-op. And then when your co-op meets, have the students give their speeches because it's always good to have an audience. So here are the class focuses. Number one, delivering a speech from a keyword outline, memory and delivery techniques. The second one is speaker evaluation techniques, structure of a basic speech. Week three is the body of the speech. Week four, the introduction and conclusion of a speech. Week five, prepare a narrative speech. Six, two primary speech goals. Seven, prepare an expository speech, which is a seven minute narrative speech. The narrative speech is a five minute self introductory speech. So I don't know if that means it's like talking about themselves. Modes of persuasion, prepare a persuasive speech, a seven minute expository speech. Extensive memory techniques, prepare an impromptu speech. And then it says here a 10 minute persuasive speech and then various speech opportunities, five minute impromptu speeches. So my guess is, is they're, they're every week, like this is the lesson you're learning, but this is the speech that you've prepared from previous lessons. This is a new course that they have. Check it out if you have junior high or high school students who you think need to do this. If you're so about the giveaway. Because I love IEW so much and have been using them for so long, I reached out to them and asked them if they would give something away to you guys. And they of course said yes. IEW said that they were going to give away two $50 gift cards to two of you. So one $50 gift card to two of you. All you have to do is like this video, comment down below which IEW product you've got your eye on, and then I also have a link in the description that is a form that you're gonna to need to fill out that will send all of your information to IEW to be entered into the drawing. So that's it. Thank you IEW for this very thoughtful gift for our viewers and all of us who love your products. They are running free shipping this year from July 1st through July 10th but this giveaway is not going to end until July 11th. So you won't know if you win the gift card before the free shipping ends, but they're gonna run all kinds of deals, you guys. So $50 is a lot of money. I'm pretty sure that will cover your shipping. How you're doing to motivate her, your reluctant learner. Well, here's one of the things is you might have to, oh my gosh, is that a siren? I just heard a siren. I don't think that's tornado, but. If it starts stormy, I might have to cut this video short and run to the basement. In fact, I'm going to check. Bella, okay, you guys, that is definitely a tornado warning. Not what I was expecting for recording the videos, but here it is. Who else hears tornado warning and wants to go outside and look? If you're from the Midwest, this is what we do. I don't like when the wind picks up, though. Oh, it's pretty windy. Mom, I'm Go downstairs. I to see. We're gonna lose our grill cover again. All right, I'm going to the basement. <laughs> Drew, this makes me nervous. Well, that was fun. It's two hours later now. I'm not sure. I don't think there was a tornado that touched down, but it got quite windy, and there have been some very, very huge booms of thunder literally just seconds ago, but I think I should just finish this video. The lighting has changed, but it is what it is. This is what YouTubers go through. And they of course said yes. Did you guys just hear my phone ring? <laughs> this is totally the life of a YouTuber. It's funny, last year something happened uh, that I did a show to behind the scenes of what YouTubers go through. If you like to be entertained, a little short five minute video, very humorous, 
right here. I, I will link it below. Like, comment, link below. If you have more questions and you want to know more details, let me know and stay tuned for how we're going to do all this this year. Till next time. Bye.